Hello everyone, Professor D here. So today we're going to learn how to create an unbound form in Access. If you're in my class, you I'm looking at the pages in your book, AC 574 through AC 579. So let's get started. First of all, we want to click on create because we're going to create a form, a black blank form. All right. So we're going to click out of the field list. We're going to save the form and we're saving the form as FRM queries and we're going to say OK. Once we have saved the form, we're going to right click on the form and we're going to go down to properties because we want to make sure that we're setting the properties. Make sure you're, you're in the property sheet and you're not on detail, you should be on form, and you should be on format. If you're on format, your first field is caption. You're going to click in the first field, and you're going to type in the word queries. Then you're going to go down to where it says record selector. You're going to double click to set it to no. The navigation button is set to yes. You're going to double click on that field to set it to no. You're going to go up to the top of your property sheet. You're going to click on Other, and you're going to go down to where it says Short Menu, and it's set to Yes. You're going to double-click to set it to No. You're going to go over where you saved your work before. You're going to click the Save button. You're going to go back to your property sheet, and you're going to click Close. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to start setting your list box control. All right, so to do this, we're going to go to home and we're going to go to view and we want the design view. Then you're going to go up to form design tools. And it's hard for me to do it because I'm also recording and my record button keeps coming up. But here we go. Once you click the Form Design Tools, what you're going to click is the More button. This drop-down button is called the More button. You go to the Use Control Wizard. You click on that. You go back to the More button, and you click on the List box. Once you click on the List, li list box, I'm sorry, you click anywhere in the form once to get that little arrow, the cross, and then you click again. This list box wizard will come up. You just say cancel. To select the list zero, that's what mine's is labeled, you can double click it. I'm sorry, mine's was already double clicked. And you should be able to move your box any place you want to move it in your form. And I'm just going to make this a little wider so I can see what's going on. And so what I want to call this is, the book says, call it Available Queries. All right. And what I want to do is I want to make this about the same size as my, As this box so these should be about the same size so once you get it the way you like it then what you're going to do is you're going to go to home and you're going to go to views and you're going to say form view once you're on the form view you see you have the exact same thing that the book has on page uh, AC 578 all right then from here you're going to click on the query owner by name, double click on that, and then you're going to go to home, and you're going to go to view, and you're going to say SQL view. Now, this is your SQL, and in the next video, I'll explain what you need to do in the SQL. I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.